Sarah, if the American people ever find out what we have done, they would chase us down the street and lynch us. George Herbert Walker Bush. Good evening, everyone. Um, so I just came across, <coughs> excuse me, this video snippet. Um, <coughs> it's pretty hilarious. Um, now, uh, I don't really know who Owen Benjamin is. Um, he's a comedian and um, I haven't really heard any of his material, but I just kind of watched uh, him now. And apparently, um, what's happening, I'm, I'm not really much in the know about a lot of these things, but um, I keep up when I can. So he's apparently going to debate Rob, uh, is it Rob Dubay? I think that's his name. He's a, a flat earther, and um, he's pretty good at it. So he's researching into uh, how to debunk flat earth. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, it's just kind of hilarious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it back and, um, I'm not going to provide too much stuff. I think I will have some commentary. Uh, so here it is. Uh, first I kind of found out by, um, the Morgyle. So I'm subscribed to his channel. He's playing it back too. And where he got his, uh, what he's playing back is basically from Karen B. Uh, so go ahead and uh, sub to both if you want or not. And um, so the the links are all in um, the description box below. YouTube uh, apparently will not live stream. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but YouTube is not liking me. So YouTube is not live streaming. Uh, any of my content and that's my second channel my second channel is not live streaming um so right now it's just through periscope steam it uh through vim and also um d live all right so um you can watch the snippet um you can watch the original snippet from the original um channel from owen benjamin's channel uh, the Karen B channel um, has a few notes up here. Uh, if you want it with some commentary, the Morgal, uh, I don't watch a whole bunch of his stuff, but on occasion, I mean, I have however many subscribers, uh, however many channels I'm subscribed to. I don't have enough time to watch all of it, but I do watch a few. And he'll go through and do his own commentary. Uh, but he's also pretty big research uh, does pretty big research into flat earth still entrenched in infinite space theory but the idea of disk in space so if you want to listen to that uh you can uh what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna um uh, i guess I'll, I'll pause it and i'm just gonna play back um this here we go and uh i'll kind of mute myself but um, I may pause it just to kind of just say something, but you'll probably hear me laugh. You won't hear me laughing in the background, but you'll probably see me shaking and laughing. Uh, so this might be kind of a reaction video. I want to talk more flat earth. This is the thing I want to ask the round earth people to explain to me. If the earth is spinning at 700 miles an hour, 1100 miles an hour, or whatever, why isn't the air spinning? And before you answer real fast and say, oh, it's all relative, it's all the same shit, the higher you go in the air, the less atmosphere there is until there's almost no atmosphere. Like 40,000 feet up, there's almost no atmosphere. So where is the break where you get away from the atmosphere in, wh in, in which it's no longer relative? This is a lot harder than I expected, proving that the Earth is round. There's wind? No, there isn't. There's a 100 mile an hour wind at the uh, at certain levels, like the uh, the jet stream. It's fucking weird. It is it is way 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 harder. The jet stream's 100 miles an hour. 
You ever see a hundred mile per hour winds? Uh, yeah, a thousand miles per hour ain't happening. Dude, I'm telling you, it's fucked up. When someone just said, dude, gravity, what, what does that mean? So if the earth is spinning 1100 miles an hour and the atmosphere somehow miraculously is attached to the earth, is that, is that, is that, uh, what kind of friction is that? Sliding friction is when the, the molecules are touching. So sliding friction is moving it along, right? Fine. When you go up enough, there's no more atmosphere. So you are now just, like if you're in a hot air balloon that goes up 30,000 miles, there's no atmosphere. So if you, why isn't the earth flying by? Stop talking about this? Ah, now you're banned. Why don't you join Coddington Bear? The fuck out of here. No one needs your shit. There's no wind because we are in a vacuum. You, we both know that doesn't make any sense. And I'm not a flat earth person. I want someone to fucking explain that to me. Atomic density? Saying words don't don't explain anything. Just saying atomic density. Friction. I just I just said that. There's several types of friction. That friction would be the fri um, sliding friction, where it's two objects touching each other, kind of like two boards. You have to go at a certain speed. If you go too fast, you slip, right? So if you go at the right speed, you carry the other board with you. We have molecules of the atmosphere, and if it's attached to our spinning shit, fine. You go up 40,000 feet, there's no atmosphere, none. It's basically a vacuum. So where do you pop out of that situation? The jet stream, that's 100 miles an hour, not 1,100. And when you're out of the atmosphere, when you're going west to east or east to west, I can't remember which way, why is the earth not flying by underneath you? You're not in that anymore. So far, no one's been able to explain that to me, which is fucking weird. Please comment on it. I would love to stay a globe earth person because being a flat earth person is another level of uh, ostracism that I really don't want at all. So please, for the love of God, someone fucking explain to me why when you leave the earth's atmosphere, does the earth not at that point appear to be going 1100 miles an hour underneath you? Please. And I'm, I'm, Here's another one. Why do flights not go around the poles? Please explain this to me because I do not like where the logic is taking any of this. It's not fun. It's actually incredibly isolating. And I don't want it at all. The last thing I need in my life is to be given another label that makes me look insane. That sounds awful. Someone said not flat. Well, please fucking tell me how you can go up into near Earth orbit in the, and stay still and the Earth is not flying by if it's spinning on a goddamn axis. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't explain it, can you? The fuck? Inertia. That doesn't mean a goddamn thing and we both know it. Inertia. Someone just says inertia. You don't think I know about inertia? Uh. The earth is flat. The earth is flat. Nope. 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 It's getting banned. Oh, maybe maybe you're saying nope, not spinning. Owen is dumber than I thought, says Martin. Okay, Martin, you're no longer allowed to talk to the grown ups. I'm obviously not dumb. If I was dumb, 3,552 people wouldn't be watching me after two hours and 11 minutes of me just talking. Dumb people don't, don't retain that amount of people. Gravity can't explain. No, it doesn't, it doesn't explain shit. Well, you're just stupid. You're just a stupid person. You're just a dumb person. Inertia. What the fuck does that mean? You're just a stupid person. The worst is like, I obviously understand physics. I got 790 out of 800 on my physics PSATs, right? 
That's like one question I got wrong. I understand physics very, very well, not on a level of like MIT or anything like that, but on a basic way above average level, I understand the, the, the principles of physics. The earth isn't flat. That's fucking insane. Why can no one explain to me how the globe is spinning at 1,100 miles an hour? And if you break the fucking atmosphere, even out of relative, whatever relative is, and you're flying in a direction opposed to the spinning, why don't you double your speed? Like if you're, if you're going 1,100 miles an hour, why is it not 2,200 miles an hour if, you, if, if the earth is going the opposite direction? What the fuck is that? So far, I've got nothing on it. No one can explain it. <sighs> the term genocide was coined by the Jew Raphael Lemkin in, in his uh, 1944 book, Axis Rule and Occupied Europe. The concept of genocide is arguably not even a real thing, just another Jew thing. It's very interesting, Jesse. I, I'm pretty sure it is a real thing. I'm on a new topic. It's about uh, the spinning earth. Look into radio frequency theory and the different layers of atmosphere and how each layer affects each frequency based on its composition. It is based on a mixture of gravity and particle density. Okay, guys, all the people saying that the Earth is round, there's no way they understand the particle density and radio theory. So when they say everyone's retarded who thinks the Earth is flat, they don't understand why they think the Earth is round, is my bottom line. They don't. So when people just go, oh, well, it's, it's clearly just radio theory and fucking uh, frequency and fucking particle. No, no, you don't know. You don't know. And you're trying to fucking hold on to something that you don't understand. And that's the problem I have. Is people with this condescending, shitty attitude, but they don't actually know anything. And they go, oh, I mean, you're such a fucking idiot. Like, why would you? Then explain to me how you can go above the atmosphere and you do not see a spinning Earth. Explain to me how NASA shows us images of the Earth that are Photoshopped. The clouds are fucking duplicates of the other clouds in the fucking thing. Does that not ring any bells? And I'm incapable of of going with lies. I'm in fucking capable of it. The earth isn't flat. There's no fucking way the earth is flat. That would probably cause me some type of nervous breakdown if that were the case. So can someone, for the love of everything good, explain to me without nonsense talk like, oh, inertia, oh, inertia. Do you know what inertia means? Do you understand the, the calculations of inertia? No, you fucking don't. It doesn't answer a goddamn thing just to say inertia. Why the fuck a spinning globe, when you're going against it, it doesn't fly underneath you? What you and Amy are doing is more important than I think you realize. You're totally authentic, non-PC bitches. Preaching family values, not putting up with anything the media is amazing. With any, the media is amazingly. Yeah, thank you very much. No, Amy's, Amy's unbelievable. Coriolis effect proves the Earth isn't flat. I, I believe that as well. Uh, I, pr I, I really hope we have more than the Coriolis effect. Really hope we have more than that, guys. Really hope we have more than the Coriolis effect. Uh, if the Earth is flat, why lie about it being round? What is the point? I can tell you a lot of reasons. I used to teach RF theory to the military and government. Would love a conversation someday with you about it if you would be willing to. Of course I would. I might start a whole Skype channel and just like if you guys say interesting shit, I just fucking bring you in. There's, if the earth is flat, I may tap out of YouTube for a while. Like that would fuck me up. But I am not enjoying the path that this is taking me on because the arguments for the earth being round are not very strong at all. Like, at all. And this is something I would never, ever, ever, ever question. Ever. 
And another thing is when I questioned that the moon landing didn't happen, like everybody was like, oh, in a month, he'll think the earth is flat. Oh, this retard's going to think the earth is flat. To the point where I, as a bloodhound, I smelled that some shit was going on. That's like if you're like, oh, the, imagine if I was criticizing the Jews and I was like, oh, the Jews are up to some shit. And someone's like, oh, in a month, he'll say the Holocaust didn't happen. Fortunately, they're not doing that, which makes me think the Holocaust did happen. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, my fucking power just went out. Ben, you're becoming a contrarian. Well, you are now banned for life. Hang on a second. I can fix that, guys. Watch this. Watch this shit. You think they can take this from me? No. I'm still here, baby. I'm not going anywhere. I can, I'll light this baby with, with fire. Watch this. They just turned off the power of my house. All right, so the power the power just went out. Nothing weird about that, huh? Where the hell is Coddington Bear when I need him? By the way, I'm not arguing that the fucking earth is flat. I just want people to fucking explain to me how it's round. Oh, and the more I listen to you, the more, hang on, someone might be banned. The more relatable you are. Oh, sweet. Thank you very much. Oh, and you banned Coddington, remember? Oh, yeah, I know. I remember. He deserves it. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like, where... Where is he? Oh, I'm sorry. He fucking had to run his mouth. <laughs> All right. I'm watching you go through what I went through before I believed the earth was flat. It's hysterical and amazing. Can't get enough of your show. I, I, I'm having a... I'm not comfortable with any of this. And uh, I'm not on board with the flat earth thing at all. I'm just... Uh, Finding the arguments for round earth to be, because I'm preparing to debate this Eric Dubai guy, Dubai. And so I want my fucking arguments concrete, right? And, uh, hey, love, what happened to the electricity? And guys, the, the arguments for round earth are horrible. What's that? I blew the surrogate, wasn't the Jews? Oh yeah, we don't need that. How about until the flat earthers can build their own rockets and take pictures, we don't stress over it? Well, NASA has been proven to be the biggest liars on the fucking planet. So, uh, and they have. Like a bunch of flat earth people have gotten balloons to go up 120,000 feet and they take pictures of a world with no curve. I'm not comfortable with any of it. Neither are you. But I'm just reporting the fucking facts. And don't get mad at me, man. Don't fucking blame the messenger, dude. I'm just... I, I'm like in this thing to win it. And I'm not going to fucking go in there half-cocked. And be like, dude, the earth is round. Just look at the fucking shit. It's, uh... It's not easy to prove, guys, because I don't go in, I don't do sophistry or wizardry in debates. I'm not going to go in and shame someone or uh, use tricks, rhetoric tricks. I want hard motherfucking evidence that the earth is round, and I've never been up there. 
So someone, listen, I get chasing the time zones, all that shit. Just, uh, oh, sweet. Just someone give me a concrete, obvious fucking thing to let me win this fucking debate. Do your research then, Owen. I, okay, now you're banned. You don't think I do research? You don't think I do this for, what, 10, 12 hours a fucking day? I listen to shit while I'm doing fence work all day, and then I look it up in books. I know the earth is round. Let me see if I can get the other camera. This camera's gay. Makes me look like a faggot. Hey, my name's Owen. Here we go. It's a better camera. I miss the word faggot. That's why I say it. Here's how I would try to explain it. Since the Earth is spinning, so is air attached to the surface of the planet. When you fly in the direction of the opposite of the spin, you are fighting at speed. Right. So if you're not in the air, right? And don't fucking get mad at me if this makes your head hurt. Just know that I'm not trying to fuck with you, okay? If the air is part of the spin and you get above the air, which is what flights do, why are you still subject to the subjective relative air movement of the spin of the earth? Let's say the air is cemented to the earth, which already is weird because if you spin a ball in, in water, the water doesn't stay with the ball, maybe a little bit, but not really. Let's say the air is completely with the spin of the earth. You are now above the air. Why the fuck are you still sub subject to the relative spin of the earth? If you're going against the spin, why are you not going twice as fast? And don't just say you're a retard, you're a conspiracy. Th what the fuck? Hang on. Already in motion inertia that doesn't mean anything. Do you guys seriously think that already in motion inertia means anything in this... Like, please look up the words you fucking use. Fuck it. I I'm going to wind down. That doesn't mean anything. Already in motion inertia. What does that mean? If I had a gun to your fucking head and say, define what you just said, what does that mean? You would say, oh, I mean, it's... <laughs> Hang on. Owen Telescope. Hang on. Owen Telescope. So all the plants and moons... We see through a telescope or round, so Earth is the only planet in our solar system that's flat, really. Okay, retard. Imagine they're all flat disks, right? Do we see spheres in the sky? Dude, I'm getting angry because everybody that's acting like I'm retarded has not thought through any of their arguments. So if we see a bunch of circles in the sky, does that mean they're spheres or fucking dinner plates? You can't prove it. You can't prove it. That isn't a fucking argument. And if you're just going to hang me out to dry, like I'm going to go argue somebody, and, and your whole argument is you look in the sky and you see circles, and that means something is a fucking spear. Oh, and you're not that smart? Well, now you're gone. Because I, my IQ is yours when... It, uh, I, I'm not getting angry at you. I'm getting angry at the concept that I, I can't win this debate. And I have 3,600 fucking people right now. Hang on. You're not dumb. You're smart for the thought. Dude, take a pill. Way too much drama, bro. Well, you're now banned for life. Drama. This is what thoughts are. I, I've, been, I'm, I've had four drinks. I just hung out with my wife. I'm having a great time. Owen, Owen, Owen. Was this... Also, how can you see trillions of miles away? It, it's all nonsense. It's all nonsense. Someone please explain it to me that isn't retarded. Some people are thinking centrifugal force. That doesn't mean anything. And we both know that doesn't mean anything. Uh, how come when you look at a boat going out to sea and it vanishes at the viewer's convergence point, look through a pair of binoculars, you can see the boat again. The earth is it can't be flat. I mean, that would just be insane. I, I, I don't... 
Oh, Eric, I won't destroy you too bad. I'm going to win, you little cunt. Ha! <laughs> That's why I'm fucking... Oh, Eric is actually here taking notes. I'm going to win, Eric. That's why I'm taking this seriously. I need my people to fucking give me some intel. It's all science fiction, not an argument. Oh, uh, Eric Skiba, not Eric... Uh, Rob DeBay. Uh, sorry, I get the names wrong. Sorry, I keep going. Argument. Space is a vacuum, not an argument. Do you guys know what arguments are? Does anyone know what a fucking argument is? You're getting there, my friend. You're on the right track. I, I'm not getting in the flat earth cult. And no, sorry. I'm not going to be disrespectful. Uh, that's a that that's sophistry. It's wizardry if I start mocking them for thinking something that I find ridiculous. Uh, space is water. Uh, I don't know what that means. That's fucking insane. If you t if you can take a variety of snapshots through a telescope of another planet and see if it's rotating. That that that's one of the worst arguments I could possibly imagine. So it's like saying, "Is my dog? Does my dog have rabies?" Well, I can see that dog that doesn't have rabies. This is like this is a fucking nightmare. This is literally a nightmare trying to fucking disprove this thing. Well, if, if you look through your binoculars and see another dog without rabies, that means your dog doesn't have rabies. What in the fuck does that mean, Owen? Your uh. You're in motion, keeps moving. Okay, Jason, if you are not in a medium that is moving, how does that apply? Let's say you see a river flying by you and you are in the air looking at the river because you're standing on the riverbank. Are you in motion because you can see a river in motion? Of course not. That's an insanely stupid argument. If, if, if the atmosphere is all moving with the earth flying around at 1,100 miles an hour and, and you are out of the atmosphere, which happens in low earth orbit or the average delta flight, how in the fuck are you still subject to, that, to being in that medium? That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> because you are moving when still first. That, that means absolutely nothing and we both know it. Drag means nothing. Science can't prove the earth moves. It literally can't. And this is fucking awful. The ISS is going 17,000 miles per hour on the earth. How does NASA dock with it from the earth going that fast? LMAO. <clears throat> Gravity, that's not an argument. How does water stick to a spinning ball? Research the difference between velocity and speed. I know the difference between velocity and speed. What the fuck does that matter? Uh, if we hover over Earth, can we get to Australia faster? Guys, this is a nightmare. This is literally a fucking nightmare. You cannot prove or disprove gravity. It's based on faith. They're going to shut Owen down at magnetism. I tried to prove the spinning globe. I failed hard. It's so fucking hard to prove. 1,100 miles per hour, but it still takes 24 hours to make one rotation. Well, I don't know. I haven't done the math on that. I really hope Owen can prove the Earth is round. Me too, Penny. Take an astronomy course at your local university. Now you're banned. I've obviously taken astronomy courses, and that's not an argument. My IQ is, small, is, is higher than any college professor at any of these colleges. So, good times. Uh, Owen, we see too far. It's, it's a pleasant, God-inspiring dream. The shadow on lunar eclipse of the Earth is round. Fuck. Okay, another weird thing is that the sun is 400 times larger than the moon, but it's 400 times farther away, making an exact eclipse, and they're both circles. Circle is not sphere. As it waxes and wanes, doesn't the moon's shadow at least point to it being spherical? That and No, it does not. There's no way to do that. That's a two-dimensional image. Uh, my college uh, astronomy professor came off as a homeless crazy person. He probably was. There's going to be a lot of people just attacking me personally now. I don't give a fuck. Oh, and was the flat earth theory on the horizon? I have no idea. I'm not a flat earth person. The earth is not flat. That's fucking psychotic. One day takes 24 hours. Very slow spin. Okay. You're not answering. Any Does anyone else feeling a little nervous about this? Globe Earth, biggest line in history. Good luck with your search, Owen. Electric Universe Theory explains and answers many of your questions. No, it doesn't. I may ban you. 
It is logical to doubt cancer exists if I've never had it and don't understand how it's... Is that really your argument? That if you don't understand cancer, that proves the fucking earth is round? Come on, man. There's 3,556 people here and no one has a fucking argument that the earth is round. <laughs> like, what? Uh, could you... Geologists and physicists are full of crap. Okay, you're now you're now banned because your appeal to authority is what children do, and it's also what causes genocide. So good for that. Good good on you for appeal to authority, you fucking cunt. Dupay will use some wizardry on you and gatekeep. Right, that's why I need truth. Truth beats all wizardry. Someone please give me some fucking science. That proves the earth is round. I know it's crazy. They have no proof. They're, guys, there's no proof. Where's the globe trolls and you need them? Dude, and this is not a flat earth channel. 95% of the people here believe the earth is round. Is the 1100 miles per hour accurate? How? Dude, not. Please, please, God, someone give me an argument. Who looks at truth? Who looks for truth in a YouTube chat? Well, not you anymore, Larry. By the way, the only people named Larry are pedophiles and mailmen. I can't argue for moon phases without the moon being a sphere. Uh, you you got to be kidding me. You, I mean, is this public education? You can't land a plane on a spinning globe. Oh, God. This is a fucking nightmare. I can't be a flat earth person. I mean... I can't be a flat earth person. There's zero proof that yours is spinning. Dude, literally there's none. All right, I'm going to I'm going to wrap this up here cuz this this is so fucking depressing. It's mind-blowing. Why do some people think that the earth's uh that, that it's the flat earthers that are ridiculous when mainstream science after a dozen supposed moon lands and billions of thousands of satellites and they still rely on shit to prove heliocentric Open up Google Earth. This conversation will be a lot more simple when everyone can see the current model and scale. Earth, it's 3D globe. You can move around. So your your answer is Google Earth. That's the proof. And you guys are fine with that proof. You're like, oh, that's cool. That's all I need. If I do Google Earth, everything makes sense. Is there no math? Is there no fucking math? You got to be fucking kidding me. You have this kind of cave. Oh, and here's your answer. It's flat because... Jesus. Oh, and you are, more, you are a flat earth person and just figuring out... No, I'm not a flat earth person. That's insane. Google earth. That, that's the answer. Google. You fucking children. It, it's a cosmological map. The thing that's bothering me the most is how many people believe something that they've never thought about. That they don't, their arguments are literally like, well, look on Yahoo, idiot. I gotta go. This is fucking horrifying. Long ago, I compared spinning a bucket of H2O around from my shoulder. When the water stands still due to gravity created, it made me understand our spin. I don't understand that, Mary Go. Please, please help me understand. Southern Hemisphere constellations are different than Northern. How can it be flat if what we see in the sky and the direction they move are different? Love you. I still believe the Earth is round, so I, I'm sure that's a great argument. Can we please have something that won't have an answer? The best way to win a fucking debate, and I've never pussied out in a debate before, is not... Like, that argument doesn't hammer drop. That's not a mic drop argument. Like, with the um, moon landing, there's so many mic drop arguments. How is that the only time in history that a country's went somewhere that other countries haven't followed? Why did technology go in reverse? How did they live feed from the moon with a four-second delay when it's more than a four-second delay right now on CNN across the country? There's a million examples. Uh, there's none of that here. 
and I don't feel comfortable getting my ass beaten in a fucking debate. The ancients knew the earth was a globe because they used math. Today's man can't even balance their checkbooks. All right, Johnny. Well, I can balance my checkbook. I actually own a house, a couple houses actually, rentals, because I tell jokes. You don't think I can balance a goddamn checkbook, you, you little cunt? How about you tell me the math to help me not get my fucking ass kicked? Guys, I, I said I would debate this guy because I thought it was a no fucking brainer. Oh, my piano's back on. Yeah. The atom is a sphere. Molecules are spheres. It's a great point if you're into the as above, so below uh, Luciferianism, but that isn't an argument. What about time-lapse footage of the night sky showing stars going by? Maybe there's something. <laughs> if the Earth was flat, you would be able to zoom in on Everest or Empire State Building to... Khalifa building from sea level anywhere in the world. Yeah, but if it was a sphere, you wouldn't be able to see more than eight miles, I believe, without it dropping six feet or eight feet. Uh, the math is horribly not in our favor, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, there's, there's... When you're above the atmosphere, you're in orbit. You're already... You, you already had inertia from the rotation and there's no longer air friction to slow you down. So you're orbiting around just like the moon is. That makes no sense, Dan. If you're going from west to east, let's say you're fighting the rotation. Your inertia based on the jet fucking, your jets. So if you're going east to west, you have different inertia than west to east. Is that your argument? Is that your physics argument? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. So if you're going west to east and you go, same amount of gasoline, and you have the same fucking inertia. So your argument is either that combustion rockets don't work in a vacuum because that's a problem, or you're wrong. <laughs> Fuck! The earth isn't flat. The earth is not flat. This is fucking madness. A skyscraper on the coast. The sun will set on the base before the top. This would bot happen with a sun hovering over a flat earth. Move a light bulb around a room and watch the shadows. All other planets are round. <sighs> Once you leave the surface of the earth, you still maintain the velocity. You had, well, on the surface because of inertia, you don't fly off because of gravity. Okay, so let's say you're flying to the moon or Mars. You can't increase velocity after you leave Earth's gravitational field, orbit. So the 17,000 miles an hour is the inertia they got from liftoff. You you can't be fucking serious. You th These arguments work in your minds? So... The 17,000 miles an hour that the uh, that the NASA fucking dumb lie thing up there is going, do you think that they got that inertia from, from liftoff and that's all they could ever have? They couldn't get any more inertia for more rockets and more partying up there? Come on, dude. Piano? Okay. I gotta go. This is so fucking depressing. I can't be a flat earth person. This is... It's Earth ma Earth's magnetic field. Is that is that your new proof that the Earth is round? Guys, no one knows why the Earth is round. I'm in a theater theater of people right now. This is a massive theater. A massive theater. And no one knows why the Earth is round? No one knows? People say just inertia? The difference between speed and velocity? You guys really think that that proves that the Earth is fucking, fucking round? Hang on. Owen, compass, compass works flat. Owen, nobody can explain it if it's not true. Good night, bro. This can't, this can't be reality. 
Maybe not call it a debate and try to prove anything either way. We can just hear him out and sub subsequently do more research after that. No, if he wins, it's that you can't agree to disagree because of emotions. I need an argument why the fucking earth is round. I got to go. Please comment why the earth is round. Please. Physicists. Mathematicians. I, I, I really, really don't want to believe the earth is flat, guys. You think I'm ostracized now? I've crossed every goddamn line there is. Can we please not do that to me? Can someone just please give me some... Some ammo here that isn't inertia. Inertia. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Hugepianist.com for my specials. PayPal.me slash feed the bear if you want to feed that bear. Patreon.com slash WDTL. But if the earth is flat, money won't matter because uh, I will be... Uh, Alone in a little room, wondering what the point of any of it is. Why did we learn anything? Someone please help me disprove this bullshit. Thank you. Well, that's just good stuff. Um, uh... I feel ya, bro. <laughs> Inertia. Oh, God. <laughs> What's great is he did this live and he spent so much time researching it so he could win debate against um, Eric DeBay. I'm sorry. It's Eric DeBay, not Rob Skiba. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm miss, uh, messing up with all the names and the flat earth community, whatever. <clears throat> he doesn't want to be a flat earther. I don't think anyone does, but you know what? This guy is brave. <laughs> brave. <clears throat> because uh, just look at his live chat. People are just going nuts at just the thought of him uh, not knowing that the glow <laughs> is supposed to be uh, the earth is supposed to be a globe. <coughs> Um, on the comments section. Oh man, uh, I am gonna reply. <laughs> <coughs> um, excuse me, I still got. Oof, I don't know why there's so much phlegm still. Hopefully, I'm not getting sick again. All right. Um, uh, let me see if I can. Um. Uh, I gotta leave a comment in two of his sections, and um, I'm gonna have him uh, not watch this. Uh, oh, I need to uh, share it. Excuse me. Ah, uh, excuse me. Oof. I didn't mean to burp. Don't. Watch PBS is genius by Stephen Hawking. <coughs> Episode six. <coughs> <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> there we go anyways i thought i'd have some fun with that hope you enjoyed it uh that's it for tonight i'll see you guys later <laughs>